Back on Inside Tennessee with Don and Susan. We're talking political personalities. And Don, let me start with you. Kamala Harris. Uh, invisible. Needs to be more visible to be uh, effective. Susan. Um, laughs all the time at ridiculous things. I am happy they're keeping her in the basement. Ron DeSantis. Susan. I really like Ron DeSantis. He's got an incredible resume, Yale, Harvard, uh, Jag Corps, a, a guy that is going to be, is a star and is going to be a bigger star. Don? Thinly gold-plated Donald Trump wannabe. Uh, I think he is, uh, uh, could be even more dangerous than Trump in some ways. And I really hope that's not the direction Susan Parties goes. Pete Buttigieg, <laughs> what do you think, Don? Uh, I think he's been very effective. I think he's well-liked in the administration. I think he has a political future. Susan, Mayor Pete. Oh, I would love to see him be the nominee in 2024. Christopher Ray, FBI Director, Susan. Um, jury is still out for me on him. I know he was a Trump appointee, um, should be professional, but let's see what happens in the next few weeks. Don? Uh, well-liked, well-thought-of by his troops, very apolitical, as the director of the FBI should be, the antithesis of what Jim Comey was uh, just uh, four or five years ago, uh, a good director for the Bureau. Let's move to the world. I want to know your thoughts on Ukraine right now, Susan. Oh, wow. Um, obviously very concerned about what's happening there, and um, I think this country has risen uh, to help them with money, with, uh, you know, weapons, with support. And I think I'm glad we're doing it. I hope I hope we can they can come through this unscathed. Don. Uh, it, it is a, a tragedy on a very large scale. Uh, I am glad to see President Biden and his leadership in this issue. Frankly, it was an opportunity for us to expand NATO and to strengthen uh, our allies in Europe as we should be after having Frankly, NATO picked at by President, former President Trump, uh, but I, I am very, very worried at the bloodshed and the carnage that's going on over there, as it is in other parts of the world that don't look like us, and we can't forget those two. Our closest ally in the world right now, Don? Uh, I would probably say either Japan or England. Susan? Uh, same. Same. We have a new prime minister in England. We'll see how that goes. But um, Japan has certainly been a great ally of ours recently. Finally, this morning, what keeps you up at night, Susan, on a political stage of any kind? Oh, wow. I think it would be the November elections. Um, I hope we can take back the House. Uh, the Senate, I'm very concerned about. I feel better about the House, but I am concerned about the turnout. Don, 10 seconds. Uh, the, the fact that the insurrection of January 6th might happen again on a bigger scale and a more serious scale and that our democracy is in peril. Don and Susan, we always appreciate your perspective. You can see more of it on our Inside Tennessee page right now at WBIR.com.